Okay, so I want to add a new feature to Happy and by doing so want to talk about the difference between request specs and feature specs and just give my thoughts on those. So the feature is when we have a customer, we can start a new conversation with them directly from Happy. So instead of waiting for them to email us, we can click new thread and we can type in a subject. So we can type in welcome hit start thread and we can write them a message. So the issue here is that we've got our email address that comes with happy, which is at priority support.net. Every person that signs up for happy gets one of these addresses. And you can also then add your own custom email domain. But whenever we first create this thread, we're just going to the default priority support email. So what we actually want to do here is have a drop down when we're creating this thread, same as this that lets them pick the email address. So if I go back and go new thread, we want a reply to drop down here. So I'm going to just go into the code and we have our form here, which has the subject and we want to add reply to. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the specs because I don't believe we have tests for this. So we have post threads here, which creates a new message thread and we'll have a controller for that. Message threads controller here, which calls create. And we pass in a customer ID and then create params. So if I go down to create params, what we're going to want to do here is add reply to and pass that in through the form. But I'm first just going to get what the controller is currently doing in under tests in a request spec. So what we'll do here is say it creates a thread and we can call that by running post message thread path and passing in some params. So what we're going to need here is a customer and we should have customers in the fixtures. So we've got a customer here and then we can do customer ID is customer dot ID and then subject we'll just set to welcome. So the first kind of test we want to just do on this is expect that it redirects. So if the message is saved successfully, we'll just test that it redirects to the message thread. So we'll say expect response to redirect to, and we'll just give it a message thread and we'll make that a let up here. So we'll say message thread dot last. And if we run this, it should work. So it looks like we've got an error and that should be message threads path. Oh, and we've got a message uh, error here as well. We should nest these. So now that that's passing, what we can do is, um, what we'll first do is just move this out. So we'll say before and move this up here. And then we can add another expectation saying it sets reply to properly. And we'll expect that the message thread dot reply to equals, um, and we'll go in and find our custom email which is support at acme.com.
so if we run this it's not going to pass because we haven't passed in anything yet so we have support.acme.com got nil and what we'll want to do here is pass in reply to and just set that here and then run this again and it's still not going to work because we haven't configured the params so we need to go to our create params and add in a reply to here now we'll run that spec again and it passes so that's the controller wired up and working and now if we go to the view and we want to add in this drop down so let's go to our form create another div and let's just copy across label and we'll call this reply to and then we'll make a select field and I'm just going to grab the code for this from somewhere else so we've got messages form and we've already got in here from address so we'll just copy this and that'll pull out the emails that the current team is allowed to send from so if I hit save and we'll go back to the view and we'll just go and reload this and that's working so this is all good what we want to take a look at now is we've got a test for our post but we don't have any tests for this form so if we had a syntax error in this form for instance we're not covering that what i would normally do here is write a test for um if we go describe oh actually we've already got one so we have a test for getting the threads new form and that just loads it up and expects that the HTTP status is okay so we know that there's not going to be a syntax error in the view or this test would fail so if I run this that test runs fine let's say we went to our view and we made a typo and we did something like this if I rerun that spec we should get a failure so we've got a failure here and we've got template error so it catches um, silly mistakes like that and protects us from things going wrong there now ultimately the most end-to-end -end test here we could do is a feature spec which I tend to not write a lot of because they run quite slowly um, a lot more slow than request specs and I think I don't want my test suite to slow down over time because the more it slows the less likely I am to run it and the less value I'll get from it so I would probably be happy enough with these two request specs for this feature if it was a really mission critical flow in the app I would write a feature for it and I'm just going to show you how I would go about doing that now so I've got a stub feature test here it doesn't do anything but um, we pull out a user and sign them in so we'll go ahead and we'll just say visit dashboard path and run that and from there our dashboard path is just here and what we'll want to do is basically do everything a user in a web browser would do so we'll want to click on customers We'll want to click on Jane Strange and we'll want to click new thread. So let's have a go at that. And I think for this, we'll just use the email. And then we'll say click on new thread 
and let's run this and see if it's working so far. Okay, that's all working. The next part we want to do is actually filling in our form. So we have a subject here and we have a reply to. So we'll go in here and say fill in subject with welcome aboard. And then we'll say select and from reply to and we just need to get the form out of this. So it's going to have the company name and then the email address. So we're going to want to use the custom email address for this, which will be Acme support and support at acme.com. So we'll go here and say Acme support like that. And then finally, we'll click on start thread. And then we kind of want to make expectations. So we want to say expect page to have content. And let's just take a look and see what that content should be. So if we go into a thread, we want to see some text that's on the page. So let's say we want to check thread settings is on the page that's not going to be on any other page so if we just go in and say expect page to have content thread settings and then we want to check that it's used the correct email address so we also want to go in and say uh, that we're receiving emails from and then the email address so we'll say this put in a new line and then just copy across this email and we'll run this and that's all working which is great the only thing we want to do is just check that it can feel so if we change this to be their default email i think it'll be acme corp and acme at priority support.net and then this expectation should fail and yep we get expected to receive acme support and we have receiving emails from acme at priority support.net so that's all working i've seen the test feel i'm happy enough that it's working correctly we'll just make those changes and run it again and everything works so i probably wouldn't for this feature anyway it's not overly um critical to the app i'm happy enough and confident enough in the request spec that this feature is working and it's not going to break. If it broke and I wanted to write it like a regression, I might write a feature test just to be really sure I'm not going to introduce a bug again. But overall, probably wouldn't write this for this feature. I do have that feature for filling in the sign up form, as that's something that I really want to ensure is working new users signing up to the site and it's a real critical path and things like joining a team so if you get invited to a team um i really want to test all of that works in a feature spec but often i'll try and just write a limited amount of these and the request specs i'll have a lot more of those um so that's pretty much it and my thoughts around features versus requests and how to use them when creating features.